hello everyone, and welcome back to the village of Are We There You? Which absolutely positively is run like a machine that we don't yet have. Um, what else is like, what runs well in nature? I guess chaos is kind of, you know what? It runs like nature because like chaos is a natural element of nature and we admittedly have chaos. <laughs> We have the nature gods bequeathing us so many animals that we now have pigus and chimkins on top of each other. So wild boar and wild chickens just kind of partying over here in the corner where Aslan Rules is completely removing those mountainous uh, tiles for, or excuse me, <clears throat> those mountainous rocks for absolutely no reason related to chicken fruit and uh, pigou fur. Not at all. Not at all. I'm, I'm, I'm sure that that's just a coincidence. And meanwhile, I do believe that we were preparing a hearth for our newest of our citizens, Pandora box who has become our very first of the artisanal well now actually we learned there is an artisan class didn't we uh boy 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 your classes i'm just gonna have to call them the boy dang it boy oh no i literally listened to like so many times i was listening to try to like learn how to say this again the, the basically middle class there we go that's fine they're, they're too fancy pantsy to work any other job other than being a bath tender and it turns out we don't actually need the cold now that it is about to actually be cold with autumn yeah but I think everything else is lined up to go quite smoothly, I do believe. Who? Oh, stop sacrificing my carrots! Like, we can't even plant those yet! Why do you think we have so many of the, like, the village fruit? The famous, like, village fruit, the tomato, if we're not going to sacrifice it to the nature gods? My poor carrots, they have barely made it through, like, surviving, being mishandled by my villagers, honestly. <sighs> In any case, let us carry on, for I do believe that we can handle- Oh wow, <laughs> I love watching all of that fly everywhere. I do believe that we can handle even more of the incoming chaos, especially since we have gone ahead and um, totally, absolutely, positively, without a shadow of a doubt, built these, uh, these piers that I was thinking would end up becoming used for being an orchard for some gosh darn reason. <clears throat> thinking, yeah, that's not fertile. <laughs> the, the wood upon a lake is not actually fertile terrain for a tree to grow. Maybe one day we can learn how to make floating lakes, but today is not that day. Uh, so clearly I actually built these piers that I called, I called the like orchard piers. <laughs> The, the 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 lake of many trees um was actually built to hold these herb pickers so that we can go ahead and pick many an herb now that autumn is coming around the corner and also to put a nature altar right here to make the um to make this like forest temple stronger that's totally a hundred percent the reason that we built these piers not because for some reason i thought i could put an apple tree on it <laughs> All right, all right. Well, let's see. Nearest incoming doom? Heat. We got that covered. Sickness. Got that way covered. Oh my gosh, we don't even need to like work on that. Uh, so let us go ahead and... <gasps> That's right! Bricks! Bricks and books! That's what we were going to be working on. Bricks and freaking books. I am so glad I remembered that because I have been trying to do my best to remember that for quite a while. All right, where's my brick maker? We haven't had our brick maker brick a making like this whole time. Plus one if stone maker is within one and requires cobblestone path to dwelling. Hey, look at that. So that's not gonna make a lot of bricks. <laughs> I won't lie, that is not going to speed up the brick making, um, brick making events. It is not. So let's see, stone mason right here. I could clear these trees out now that like the forest altar is down here. That might make some sense. So it probably more important to have the, the bricks, but don't tell like the forest nature gods we're worshiping I said that. <laughs> don't worry, eventually I can replant the trees and atone for my sins. That eventually is not right now though. Oh, 
Oh, hey, Alini, you grew up. Congratulations. Hopefully you will become one of the mini pips that can do a job that I have not yet trained you for. Uh, in fact, do we need like a special brick maker? Look at that, we sure do. The brick maker. They spent all day discussing the right mix to make the perfect brick. They never agreed, so the discussions were usually quite heated. Haha! -ha! And they're also going to be fancy pantsy! Okay, but it's gonna take five days before we finish building that brick maker. Huh. Do I have any other stone gathering spots? I don't anymore. What a coinky dink though. Hold up here. I do have an entire mountain range I could work with. There is that. I do indeed have a whole mountain range where I could absolutely be putting a stone maker and absolutely be like literally. What? Is it because it's outside of my, that's because it's outside of my area, right? Right? I can totally keep expanding over here, right? Okay. Okay, nobody panic. <laughs> I absolutely positively can go ahead and put my brick makers where I plan to put them, right? Uh, let's go ahead and expand the, the bridge leading into this area a little bit. And also put a sign down that's totally going to let me expand over there. Absolutely positively. For sure. For sure, beans. Like... We'll figure that part out in a moment here. Uh, otherwise, ah, uh, we do have a child or two present that I need to go ahead and name. And uh, probably quite a bit else we could be working on too. Um, let's see, I was also going to make another wood woodmaker and possibly some paper makers over here. We have bookmakers being written or built, I suppose I should say, up there. Um, this well cannot yet be run because we don't happen to have what we need when it comes to uh, books, a la the bookmaker problem again. And I think I was going to put another bookmaker like right here. So let's actually remove this forging spot and see where that takes us because I could use more books. And then we can also build over here and I could use another woodcutter kind of in this area, especially if I can't actually cut these trees. Oh boy, I, maybe I have removed too many a tree. Oh my, okay. Well, I'm sure everything will be fine. Even with the turning of the days and the changing of the seasons. Even if I did unluckily forget to name the children as well. <laughs> Whoops. All right, all right, everything's fine. All right, let's see. It is the turning of the seasons. The cold threat now rises. So stop freaking working like all the cold making things, everyone. The elder had a vision of cold. The cold domain is now enabled and its seasonal threat is set to two, which means maybe I will think about finding somewhere for, um. well, we definitely need our cloth being like made all the time and maybe i will find somewhere for the for the cloak maker to maybe set up shop that those are all possible thoughts one could think um and then let's see oh now we can go ahead yes the medical herbs they can be collected oh sweet and violin beetle valia and aslan rules are already on top of that yes and that means that we can go ahead and we can even have one of the herbalist, um, herbalist come herbal and make medicine because without, they, they can cure poison and they also make the medicine that is required to go ahead and actually be able to like heal injured pips. And I'm not, oh, no, handyman available. Oh my goodness. All right, look, where is an un? Un okay, uh, Alini, Cassie, Alini, why don't you come over and train as one of the herbalists? Because you could also go ahead and be one of our healers. What do you think about that? You look like quite the clever type. I'm sure that that's going to work out just fine. Um, and then, oh, wow, look at this. We're thriving, thriving. I, I think we're doing great. <laughs> 
<laughs> so great, we shall allow Lark Spring and Agent Annie to welcome in yet another young pipling to our ranks. And I'm going to take a quick glance ado. Ah! We can stop with with these parts by the way you guys we don't need any more cold we don't need any more of that cold either and actually i possibly need some more people to be working on gathering us some heat we have a bit of heat being generated by those who are going ahead and smelting the copper ore and now by our gigantic bonfire did we ever find a more efficient way to heat up the village without like literally having bonfires everywhere that i have a sneaking suspicion just might actually catch fire. Let's see, cloakmaker, the hearth we're researching right now. And then, oh yeah, bricks. <laughs> we come kind of almost full circle, though I perhaps I should say we come full square, maybe, to bricks. And yes, I know that now we have our Boya class uh, idling, but I mean, I can't really do much about that unless they decide that they're okay. Nope, they're not going to make any babies with the others. <laughs> they are now above commoners. Like Pandora's box is like, oh, no, like that's not happening because like they're they're above that apparently. All right. Paper makers are papering. Excellent. Researchers are researching. Excellent. Scribbling away. Good, good, good. We're doing what we can <laughs> with all of this chaos. Let's see, how are our seeds? We're ahead on seeds. So little elf, if you don't mind, we could go ahead and harvest some of these tomatillos or actually little elf. Okay, yeah, tomatillos. <laughs> so much going on. Let's go. Again, I'm, oh dear. Uh, again, I once again, unluckily forgot to name the babies. Oh, geez Louise, look at all that stuff fly by. <laughs> But that's fine, as the days have passed 200 days, and time is going a wee bit faster. Well... Okay, that's a little spooky. Little scared. Megan's gotten sick, but we can handle that. The sickness threat has risen. Maybe it's something Machu shared. Game hen? Uh-oh. It is like something they've maybe eaten? Oh no, okay, Ziva. Hang in there. Okay. Evergreen, uh-oh. Uh, Lauren, okay, we can stop now. Oh, Amy, Wolfsong, uh-oh. Oh, 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 uh, oh, <laughs> no, Savannah too. Okay, 10 pips are sick for 10 days and they have a belly sickness. Uh, no offense to a like Amy Wolfsong, but it seems like perhaps someone shared something that one should not eat. Uh, and now everyone has stomach aches. That's fine. We can cure that, right? Right? Brain moving, thinking, trying to remember place to cure disease. Ah! Oh my gosh, it looks like all of the chickens are dead. I see an unknown event coming. Perhaps it was, oh geez, uh, sickness in five days? Okay, um, you know, you know, a sickness event in five days when we have so many pips sick. I need to stop bragging about how we have everything under control. Okay, hearth. Like the one I'm standing by now, the hearth was a gathering place for stories of all kinds. Pips particularly liked the gruesome ones. So, the hearth will actually give us power and also go ahead and give Pandora's box a job to do, since they are too good for anything else in town now. And it will give us plus five for each dwelling within one and plus 10 if there is a brick paving path to town center. So that means put it kind of in the center-ish of town area and it'll get a boost for dwellings that are nearby. So let's see where I could stick it. That might give us a nice boost. Hmm. Here would give us a good boost because it would have at least one dwelling right here. Um, technically I could put another dwelling up there too. So we could put the hearth over here. And I'm kind of thinking like the pub and things like that for juice drinking will go up here. Uh, but you know, maybe I should worry about that after, you know, this. 
<laughs> after everyone <laughs> is maybe cured of their sickness. Okay, okay. So, disease, cure sick. Okay. Do I literally... Where are my healers, please? Crystal, um, I, I do think I'm going to pull you off of whatever whatever you're doing down there, my dear. I can't stop until current action is complete. Oh. Never mind, Crystal. You don't want to be interrupted. Fire Phoenix, do you mind maybe coming on over here and helping out with that? And somebody can maybe remove this. We have 10 sick pips. Uh, <laughs> I can cure distressed pips in a mass. There is that. Let's see. Okay, so... The dock is for injured pips. The apothecary is for poison pips. The pharmacist is the only one for sick pips. Requires a health maker within one. I'm having the weirdest sense of deja vu. Just saying. Very much so. Uh, okay. All right, we got this. We can handle this. I might, no, I can't tear that house down because the chickens need it, even though we haven't been harvesting from the chickens in literal donkey days. Uh, I mean, I guess we can because it's a waste not to. Okay, okay, we have a lot of sick pips. That's true. There's no need to panic. No need to panic. Space Vance is over there doing a dance with all of those, um, all of those knives. Uh, we have no artisan available. Do we have anybody? Crowned Abyss, I do believe that you're about to become one of our tailors. And then, where's my other tailors? Okay, Ziva is very ill right now. Okay, do I have anybody who could be trained? Uh, Cassie, guess what? You're going to go ahead and come over here. Also, that should have been like... Ugh, seeds. There we go. Okay, calm down. I know, I know, I know. We have so many villagers now, and yet somehow we still don't have any uh, enough to, to, like a drop to drink sort of situation in the woods. All right, let's see. Speaking of the woods, we are collecting a bunch of medicine. We have started expanding further down towards where the altar is to go ahead and build like a couple altars over here. Good. I don't really need to do more work on that section for just a second. Um, we have quite a bit of glop, but I wouldn't be surprised if we went through our glop kind of quickly. If I could pull back on anything, it might be on the knowledge base. So like we might take a few of our scribblers off duty to maybe gather things, clear things out of the way. Um, desperately go ahead and maybe cut these down so I can desperately build more pharmacy stands. <laughs> Is someone available perhaps to go ahead and try to clear out that? Oh geez, there's so many workers. All right, let's see if I can get... Excellent. All right, we're going to try to clear these trees out to get more like healing going on. Um, You know, I appreciate the fact that every single time I'm like, na 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 na, can't get me, can't get me, na 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 na, and then it gets me. I actually think that's important. It's definitely a life lesson. It allows me to experience, like, knowing that maybe that was being a little bratty, and maybe I need to be a little more humble and think through other things that could potentially go wrong. You know, just, I'll take it, I'll accept that. I'm willing to have that kind of growth. Um, but maybe I can only say that because I'm not the one currently sick and potentially about to die. I, did I say die? <laughs> I, who, no, 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 okay. Everyone enjoy your flying gloop. Enjoy your flying gloop. And clearly I didn't say that word and everything is going to be fine. Oh, whoa, a bunch of people were cured. That's right, because you can cure like three people at once at these. <gasps> Savannah, you're okay. Oh my gosh, Fire Phoenix, y'all, uh-oh. Got the bookmaker. See, it's a sign of hope, sign of hope, sign of hope. What do you think about that, huh? Look at that. Yes, come on, give me something good. Cure, 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 cure. This doesn't look like a cure, but I'll also take a cat or like petting these bunnies. <gasps> Yay! Pips found some wild fruit and want to celebrate the good season with a feast. Should we let them? 
So we can go ahead and allow them to have a feast and they will gain happy for five days, some of them, uh, or we could gain 30 apple. I think we'll go ahead and let them have a feast. See? Obviously, we don't need to worry about anything and we can enjoy uh, some wild apples. Annie, Zubot Chaos, Aslan Rules, Galactic Woo, Honey Mint, Violin Beetle, Madeline, Traveling Time, oh my gosh, Ginger Fury, Art Cryptid, Panda Bird, Machu, <laughs> Lana Melts Crystal, <laughs> Zero Gravity, Fire Phoenix, Lavender Rain, Evergreen. Holy moly, 20 pips are happy. That was a good choice. I will take that. See? Told you everything was fine. Just, you know, ignore the coughing, sniffing, and sneezing. It's gonna be good. I promise. I think. Oh, I thought those were like death symbols, but they're just people smiling. Oh my gosh. <laughs> 